I spend a lot of time with iPhone people. I personally witness thousands of wasted taps, wasted seconds from apps being on the second page, the third page, in a folder, in a folder within a folder. Usually we just install apps over time and they go willy-nilly wherever. We never take a couple minutes to just reorganize them in a way that makes sense. Those wasted taps stop today. So the first step is to make some room on your home screen for the stuff that you access multiple times a day. Uh, so I wanna move the App Store and My Rogers. I'm just gonna move it to the second page, deal with it later. You press and hold on the icon and then just tap Edit Home Screen and they all start to wiggle. And then press and hold on the app you wanna move and drag it to the edge of the screen and then drop it on the second page. So all we're doing here is making some room on the home page. You don't need to worry about organizing the second page or folders, that's something that you do later. Uh, now is a great time as well to just delete any apps that you don't use often. Uh, just hit the minus button to delete it. Uh, I will not be deleting the Starbucks app because I use that often. The second step is to go looking through your second, third, fourth, fifth pages of apps for those ones that you use multiple times a day and bring them back to the home screen where you can access them easier. Just press and hold on the app that you want to move, edit home screen, and Tim Hortons, you get the honor of being on my home screen. The third step is to organize the icons on your home screen to look good and be efficient to match your tastes. So I'm gonna put the Tim Hortons and Starbucks together in a folder. So I'll just say edit home screen and I'll just drag the Tim Hortons app on top of the Starbucks app and it'll make a folder automatically. And then if I tap on that folder, I can give it a name. I'll hit the little X to the right of the current name and say coffee and then say done. And if I tap on the home screen behind this folder, then I can just go back there. And the dock across the bottom, these would be the apps that you use the very most often out of anything. So I'm gonna take contacts off the dock and I'm gonna put Google Maps on the dock because I use that all the time. And the dock stays there at the bottom no matter which screen you're on. The fourth step would be to organize that second page of apps to be the stuff that you access weekly. So this is where you could make some folders. These are less commonly used. Uh, I have games on this page. I have productivity, travel, photography, things like that. Uh, and you can make a new folder just by pressing and holding on one icon and then drag it onto another and it'll make a new folder. If you make a mistake and make a folder that you want to undo, you just go into that folder and drag the app out and pause for a second here and you can put it back on the home screen. So not the end of the world if you screw that up. You also have the option at any time to search for an app. Let's say you put it into a folder and don't remember where it went. Just tap and hold in the middle of your screen and drag downwards and you get that search at the top there. So here you can search for an app and really quickly find it. Doesn't matter what folder it's in. The last step, and this is for anybody who has more than two pages of apps. In the later versions of the iOS, you have the option to hide entire pages of apps. So you just press and hold on one of your icons and go edit home screen, and then tap on the three or four, however many little dots in the bottom middle of your screen. And here you can uncheck the pages uh, so that you are showing less pages. Then you can say done in the top right. And then if you say done again in the top right, now I only have the home screen. And when I pull to the right, I get the app library. So the app library is all of my apps and I have the ability to search here as well. But this can be really nice. You can have your home screen with the stuff that you access multiple times a day. You can have the second page is stuff that you access weekly and then third and beyond, you just hide them and get into those apps from the app library. So at this point, just test it, set it up the way you like and use it for a week. You can expect to be annoyed at first trying to find apps, but you always have the option to search and calibrate as you go. Boom, iPhone epiphany.
If you want professional one-on-one -on -one help with the tips in this video or with anything else in your Mac lifestyle, head to macandhome.com to schedule a consult. Page in a folder, in a folder within a folder.